Hi, I'm Flick Swan, a professional dancer and co-founder of Sleek Ballet Fitness. And today I'm excited to take you through a foam roller workout. I'll be using a foam roller from Fit Beast, which you can see here. And it also comes with a massage stick and a massage ball. As a professional dancer, I will tell you that the massage ball and the massage stick are really great for getting into the soles of your feet. So we're not focusing on our feet today particularly, but if you do end up getting this set, I highly recommend giving this little massage a go. At Sleep Ballet Fitness we rarely use any equipment apart from a bar and a mat but a foam roller really is a great piece of equipment especially if you are coming back from injury or if you're really hoping to relieve tight muscles and open up into those muscle fibers. Let's get going. Okay so we're going to work to activate the muscles and then release the muscles. We're working on our fronts, our sides and our backs. It will feel great. So grab your foam roller whichever you're using and roll it forward so it's just underneath you coming into an all fours position. Release your forearms down, elbows come in and step back finding a plank position. Your roller is just underneath you about the height of your hips. We're going to extend one leg. Taking your right leg off, lengthen it behind you, pull your tummy to your spine. And then release those toes back, lengthen your spine, draw that tummy in still. Breathe in, breathe out, send the left leg away. And release that leg back down to demi point, hold your plank. Draw your tummy in as if somebody is trying to touch you on your stomach button. And then release back and find a long plank. Again, draw the tummy in. Get that little quiver going. Good. Release your knees down. Walk your elbows further forward and send the tops of your muscles onto the foam roller. So the very top of the thigh. We're going to send those feet back up into a demi-point position and ping the toes off the floor. So our full weight is on our foam roller. We're going forward and back four times. Take it forward, take it back. This is to really lengthen the muscle fibers in the quads, the front of the thighs. Again, two more. Not going down onto the kneecap, being gentle and being certain where we are. Release the toes down. Elbows come back under the shoulders. Lift up and find your half plank position. If your knees are up, you're in full forearm plank. Three, two and one. Drop your knees back. Walk your hands onto your foam roller and slide them away. Keep them as wide as you can and press your chest to the mat opening across the shoulders, roll back, draw your tummy in, roll forward and lengthen through the spine, rolling back, adding the chin to chest tuck to really get into that spine. Last one, draws you all the way in, bring your roller with you, sit up nice and tall, good. Turn onto your sides. Okay, now let's come onto our sides and work into an area that is very difficult to stretch. It's the outside thigh, the IT band. So what we're going to do is we're going to place the roller underneath us, come down onto our forearm, and take the top leg over the top, plant your foot. Bottom leg, you can flex the foot. Roll the roller so it's just underneath the bony bit of your hip. We're gonna really try and work into this. It's a difficult one to do that doesn't feel very comfortable. So working with me with your own breath, we're gonna take the arm overhead and lengthen, reaching out. Now let's roll one way, sliding back. Good, and again, roll, slide it back. Good, it's in your own time. Holding it here, reach your top arm, full circle, lift your hips high, work into those abdominals and lower down. Let's do that one more time, rolling forward and back. Feeling strong in this underneath arm. Beautiful, working into our core here as we take the arm down, round and up and lift the hips high, lengthen. Hand comes to the floor, release your foam roller. Place it underneath you. And then finding our calf muscles here. Walk your body back. Lengthen your legs. We're going to take some circles from the ankles right to the tops of the legs. We're gonna flex the feet as we draw the roller towards us and kick away. Circle, point, flex. Roller comes in, kick away. 
circle, point, flex, draw in, kick away. Good, twice more, getting into those calf muscles. Last one. And then rolling in and out in your own time. You have the option to stack one leg over the top and get a little deeper into that underneath calf muscle. Good. Let's work a little higher up the leg. Come into our hamstrings and place our fingertips behind us. We're gonna lift up and walk that roller forward and back underneath the backs of the legs using our upper body strength and our core. Extend those legs out, draw in. Extend out, draw in. Feel those hamstrings release. and then send your bottom to the floor. Release that bottom down, roll down, draw the heels in, take that foam roller underneath your lower back. So we're not sitting onto the spine, the tummy is drawn in and we extend the leg furthest from me. Flex that foot as you draw this leg in and feel a lovely deep stretch across the lengthened leg hip. Squeeze it in. Let's find that hamstring length here as we extend the leg up listening to your body. Don't worry if your leg doesn't go as high as mine. Fingertips can come over the top as you draw that top leg in or you're holding underneath your hamstring to wherever your leg allows. Gently draw the kneecap up, activate the VMO muscles and release the leg down and both legs come up. Release the hands down, come off that roller, lift your pelvis high, look down your center line. Roll back down, adjust if you need to, and let's take that on the second side. Flex your foot, kick away. So a squeeze into your top leg with your wrist, your fingers, and a lengthen with your bottom leg, flexing the foot. Draw that leg up, again, listening to your body, lengthen out through the hamstrings. Options, hand over the top, or hand to your hamstrings, but never behind the back of the knee, we're just listening to our muscles. For three, two, one. Release down, good. This time as you lift the hips, take the roller out from underneath you and walk your legs away to find a long lever shape, knees to the ceiling. We're gonna roll all the way up. Lift up nice and tall, flex your feet. Take your roller over the top and you're gonna see if you can take a deep stretch here. Breathing in and breathing out. Fingertips on the inside of the roller, walk your bottom back and a double leg stretch here. Forward bend over your thighs, your shins. Release off. Roll yourselves up. Roller comes down to the floor and we're coming onto the second side here. So leg comes over the top, finding that position. Let's work into the IT band on the second side again. A tricky area to navigate, so listen to your body. Options, hand comes to fifth. Rolling in your own time, using the breath. Tightness in muscles, you can put strain around the joints. Here we go, this time we're gonna find that lift up from the hip and lower down, good, let's do that again. So rolling down and coming back in your own time. Adjust your foam roller as you need to. Mine was rolling up then. We really want to make sure we get the full length of the muscle. Hold it here, arm comes in. Lift your hips high. And lower down, well done. This time, taking that foam roller out from underneath you. Coming onto your backs, please. And this time, reaching the foam roller out in front of us, draw your tummy in and roll down for a count of eight, seven, six, five. Engaging through that core, three, two, one. Send it overhead, kick your feet away and feel lengthened and long. Breathe in, breathe out. 
stretch your toes. You're going to place your foam roller back underneath your shoulder blades into the upper back again. This time, soles of the feet come together. I'm going to take our arms to fifth and lie back. A juicy stretch to open up the fronts of the shoulders, lengthen the neck, soles of the feet together to open into the hips. Just breathing in through the nose, breathing out through the mouth. One of my favorite ways to get energy into the body, to open into the body, and to get some relaxation across the fronts of the shoulders. Well done, everyone. I hope you enjoyed that short but effective workout, feeling more open across the chest, feeling that the thighs are lengthened, muscle fibers feel flattened, more relaxation and less fatigue in your body. So if you would like more sleep ballet fitness workouts, please head over to our site. Meanwhile, enjoy the rest of your day and stay sleek.